I always been in love with the Surface lineup, the magnesium, the build quality, the keyboard, the amazing screen, the tablet option, but it's always pretty overpriced and pretty like the last generation specs at that price. But the Surface 15 came out with a 1066 gigabyte inside and the things like a kind of change because uh, with the refurbished one at 2K, you could have the same power pretty much of a Razer Blade 14 but with all the goodies that the Surface lineup brings with it, like the touchscreen, the pen, and like everything, to have a tablet relaxing on the couch, to a VR and gaming PC. But no, that wasn't the case. Ciao guys, I'm Woody here, I'm back. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new from the channel, feel free to check out all the other videos in the channel. And if you like what you see and want to keep it updated about VR and tech in general, just click or tap the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. That's a one to here, as you want. So this is not going to be a review of the product, but my personal experience with it in a VR related world where everything like float around VR and that's our channel at the end. So there are plenty of other reviews out there. I'm going to work on mine uh, probably later, but uh, this is just to warn you about something that I don't want people to experience the same because on the internet there just doesn't enough information that say that and they always sponsor on the video and it's stuff for Windows Mixed Reality of course that works but all the other platforms like uh, Vive, Rift, like what's going on with those? First thing I did when I arrived was to show VR to some friends so I installed super fast Steam VR, super fast like uh, the drivers for Windows Mixed Reality and I started and right away like super hot was working like perfectly beat saber what be saber so the smile was my face i i did it right that it was the right choice an amazing product with also vr capabilities like amazing that's what's less than that and i was like this is the one i was amazed it really really worked but then i wanted to try pavlov and make it them try pavlov that is like a, one of my favorite game at the end and the result was like a line eee! Everything was very, very laggy and uh, I didn't know what was going on, like everything was so fluid before. So I said like, uh, you know what, maybe some driver stuff, when I'm gonna be back home, I'm gonna check everything and see if it works. But unfortunately, when I got home, things got even worse. When I tried to connect the Oculus Rift, uh, there was something weird going on, like the screen was showing like an external screen instead of really like uh, what I wanted to do so like play VR, Steam VR wasn't recognizing at all I tried to reinstall the Oculus software, I tried to reinstall all the Oculus driver possible but just wasn't recognized by the system it was recognized in a different way so like I tried to take out also the extension for the monitor and didn't work as well with the same connection I was using with Windows Mixed Reality, so nothing was really weird, everything was like detected regularly beside the connection of the Oculus that actually was also recognized but not in the way we wanted. So then I said like let's try something different, let's try with the Vive and same thing happened, nothing was showing up as it's supposed to do. So uh, things were like a little spicy, I started to browse the web and see what was going on and uh, it came out that Surface Book doesn't really support Vive and Oculus but supports Windows Mixed Reality and that makes sense, okay? But can I use it? And the answer is no because then I start to browse in the device manager to find out why the connection was being recognized in that way and this came out. What the problem is, is that the USB Type-C on the side is not connected directly to our GPU, so the 1060, but it's connected to the internal graphic card. So that's why it's recognized like an external monitor and not like really VR. And when Windows Mixed Reality is able to do the connection to works anyway, it's not the case for the Vive and Oculus because they need a direct connection to the GPU. So that was it. That was the problem. I'm not gonna be able to play Oculus and Vive on the Surface Book. And that's a pretty bummer because like for the price and for what the Surface Book could be, it's a really like let down because I can't really use like half of the devices that are more than enough the devices that I own. Now, this device is amazing. I, I really, really loving it, but it's just not the device for someone that loves VR and wants to work in VR and like play VR because if you play like easy games like uh, Beat Saber, uh, Super Hot 2 or like uh, 
TSA Frisky, that is the game I play lately, that is pretty, pretty fun. Everything will work just smoothly. But when you try something more graphical intensive, or not even like uh, something medium intensive, like can be Pavlov, like can be Onward, or something very fancy like uh, the Frankenstein experience, the Frankenstein game that has an amazing visual, there you're gonna have a problem everything will gonna be super super laggy and gonna be pretty pretty unplayable and the problem with that is gonna get sick in a second and that's not the real way to show vr to people and to experience vr because you know you have a laptop for vr to bring it around and show it to people and uh, let them share what's your passion and uh doesn't work like that if if they get sick it doesn't work if they get like turned off by it, it doesn't work. So that's a big problem about it. You can't really do what you want to do. But anyway, guys, if you use Windows Mixed Reality, easy game and stuff, yeah, go for it. It's perfect. You can like browse the web on the couch. Like you have a pen that is amazing to edit video and that writing like this. And uh, yeah, uh, like I really, really love it. But unfortunately, if you want something gaming related, something to show VR to people, something to really enjoy your VR game, so probably you better go for a bulkier, cheaper, but also more powerful device. Like it can be like the Lilius 13 that is less than enough of the cost to give double the experience that this device does. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, like if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. See you guys in the next video. Ciao! Thank <laughs> you.